Hey Magnet Motor fans, this is a little poor man's easy spin motor I decided to waste a lot of time building. Actually it was not a waste of time, I learned a lot but it was very tedious and frustrating to build as everything was built manually. But it's still quite impressive. It was a lot of work because I built the, the spools, you can see there's 12 coils and these are little bobbins and they were wound using 42 gauge wire and I wound them using this little bobbin winder that my wife gave me well I finally got it running last night there's the reason there's three extra coils here is because they all broke after they were mounted and hooked up uh, the inside wire actually broke off so there was no way I could repair them and I had to replace those coils by building new ones. Well, I decided to try it out last night and this is actually its first run. I charged it up. There's super capacitors here. I've got two of them in series because they're rated at two and a half volts each. And this is a little uh, one and a half volt battery. So I charged it up to about, it was reading about 4.65 volts at 8 o'clock last night and it's as you can see it's still running this is the next day it's 9 30 right now so it's been running for 13 and a half hours and I decided to just let it go to since it was see you know I expected it to run a couple of hours but since it just kept going and it was still going at night and it had about four volts reading at when I went to bed last night and it was still running this morning so it's still running as you can see here it's running about 40 RPM uh, closest I can figure it's drawing less than 0.3 milliamps so it's down in the microamp range I, I've really got no way of telling because I've got no meters that are that sensitive down in, in that range and of course it's pulsing it's running about 40 rpm it's got six magnets so that's probably about 40 pulses per second with the little reed switch the, uh, I'll post in the description of this video what the actual runtime was because as you can see it just uh, keeps on going here and let's see what the voltage is down to now okay I'm going to flip this a little because I don't know when you can see it on the video but you can see it's reading about 3.35 volts still on these capacitors after 13 and a half hours so it's an impressive little motor here or motor slash generator whatever you choose I'll see if I can zoom in a little give you a little better view of it and you may recognize this any of you that have done some plumbing this is a toilet flange it was a brand new clean one of course I didn't want a shitty motor and these little rods here are called axle rods they were actually in Menards where the hobby woods were and I believe they get their name from the uh, Pinewood Derby I think the the wood that's used for a, an axle actually they're called axle pegs here they are here and the ins the diameter of these pegs was the same as these little bobbins so that worked out really good as shafts to mount the little coils on I'll tip this over a little bit I really wouldn't advise someone to do this it's a tremendous amount of work especially building the little coils uh, 
you're better off I believe to go with the 3D printed version even though it's going to cost a little more than this did unless you have a machine shop and an easy way to fabricate all these parts and you might notice the rotor has a little wobble in it it's hard to get this centered and balanced but it was a fun project and it's really surprised me as how to how long that it continues to run and thanks for watching as I said I'll post in the description what the actual runtime is of its first run